about the IEEE 1149.1 test standard, which refers to the uh, boundary scan test technology. Uh, after completing this session, you will be able to explain why boundary scan is very important, uh, what is its application domain, and also how uh, our test vectors apply when the corresponding test responses capture it. There are two main reasons uh, that led to the development of uh, boundary scan in uh, the mid-1980s. One is that uh, functional testing which uh, consists of testing a printed circuit board using only the edge connectors and propagating any test vectors through the uh, integrated circuits that populate the board became too difficult because by that time the complexity of the existing integrated circuits was already sufficiently high to make it very difficult to uh, predict how the test vectors will propagate. Uh, the second reason is that uh, the alternative in-circuit testing technology, which consists of um, accessing physical test points located in the uh, printed circuit board surface, became too difficult at the same time due to uh, the uh, general use of um, very small surface mount devices and also the miniaturization of electronics which made it uh, increasingly difficult to establish physical contact with any uh, test points. So, uh, as I said in the uh, mid-1980s, a group of companies that was uh, led by Philips in the Netherlands set up a group that was called the uh, Joint European Test Action Group, uh, which was joined uh, later by companies in um, the US and in Japan. So the E from European dropped and it became known as GTAG or a, a Joint Test Action Group. And uh, this group of companies uh, developed a proposed uh, test technology which uh, comprised a set of uh, internal uh, test cells that were located in the boundary of each integrated circuit and therefore the name by which it became known or a boundary scan test technology. Uh, these cells are um, used to drive any test vectors to the pins they are also used to capture the corresponding test responses at the uh, input pins. They can also be used to shift any test vectors or test responses through the uh, board level boundary scan chains. And they are also used to isolate the pins from the core logic. Notice that uh, the isolation capability of the boundary scan cells uh, prevents what was known as uh, backdriving, since um, even when the core logic is trying to drive a zero, there will be no conflict if you wish to drive a one, because the boundary scan cell will enable, enable you to isolate the pin from the core. So backdriving, which is the conflicting values coming from core logic or test control channel, uh, never happens in boundary scan. Well, originally the boundary scan test application domain was the structural test of printed circuit boards, digital printed circuit boards. And notice that there are three keywords in this expression. One is structural, structural test. We are not dealing with testing the functionality of the devices, but rather with the structural test of the board. We are looking for uh, short circuits or open circuits or misplaced components, any type of structural, not functional tests. Uh, in second place, we are not dealing with mixed signal or analog uh, boards. The original application domain of boundary scan was strictly digital. And finally, uh, it addresses the hierarchical level known as printed circuit board. So we are not addressing the system level, neither the integrated circuit level. It can be used at both these levels, 
but it addresses mainly the printed circuit board level. So actually this uh, embedded test infrastructure is nowadays used in many other purposes and uh, uh, the mention of the uh, GTAC port a while ago, uh, GTAC name a while ago, might uh, have um, uh, called your attention to the fact that you usually program your FPGAs using the so-called GTAC port, which is exactly the uh, boundary scan uh, test access port that you see uh, in this uh, previous slide.